Okay, so this is a first for me. Um, I got here at the state park. Uh, I'm a little early, uh, probably about an hour early or so. Um, and because of a burn ban that they have going on right now, um, they're not letting folks check into their sites until it's the absolute um, spot on time to check in. So my time, or I can get into my spot at 2.30, um, but because of the burn ban, um, no matter what time somebody gets out, they like to water it down, uh, get it wet. So, uh, I have access to the, the day use park. So I'm going to hang at the day use park here. I'm not going to do my big hike yet. Um, that is coming. Um, but I'm just going to chill, uh, and then wait until I get into my site. Okay, it's that time. The day park uh, is really pretty nice, uh, great water out there. But now it's time to find my uh, camping spot. Uh, time to go to the state park, which is just over there. And we'll get set up, get ready for a good hike. So here I am, Belfair State Park. Um, 
I guess it's about an hour and a half outside of Seattle. I took the ferry to get here. Um, the park is absolutely stunning from what I can see right now. Earlier, I got here, had to hang out at the day use park, which was really pretty. Uh, now it's time to get this bad boy set up and then go for a hike. time to hit the hay. Um, a beautiful view outside of my um, car. I have my Hasika uh, car camping tent and awning up. Uh, not the tent part, but the awning part. Uh, and it's going to provide nice uh, breeze throughout the night. Uh, I have my window uh, shades on, or my window screens, which I love. Again, one of my best purchases ever. Uh, I have my uh, Blue Eddy EB3A uh, so that I can charge anything or run my fan, which is on uh, all night. So um, that's the plan. I'm going to chill for a little bit longer, uh, maybe watch a little uh, YouTube and go to bed. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Temperatures right around 70. I think it's going to be a good night. Good morning. This was a really good sleep. Uh, I had my fan and my screens on um, and my uh, Hasika tailgate awning open. 
So there was a nice breeze all throughout the night. Um, it got a little chilly because I ended up having to throw on my blanket. But for the most part, this was a, this was a really good sleep. Um, Belfair State Park is a really good state park. You can see outside it was the sun's coming up. There's water behind me. It's just a beautiful view. Um, it was not loud at all. Um, I could see myself coming back here. And I could see... Um, definitely recommending this place to come stay and hang and uh, I think you'll get a comfortable sleep here no doubt about it Belfair State Park is located about an hour and a half outside of Seattle. Again, it just depends on how you get here. I took the ferry. Uh, you can drive all the way around and then come up to the park, uh, but I took the ferry. It was supposed to shorten the trip. I don't know how much it actually shortened it, but it was fun to do it anyway. Now the park is 94 acres. It's open year round. There's 3,720 feet of salt water shoreline right over there. Uh, and that is off of the uh, Hood Canal. Here at the park, it is absolutely gorgeous. The trees are so mature. The sites are really tucked away. Uh, you don't feel like you're right up against your neighbors, which is really nice. Th there are neighbors and you can see them, but for the most part, the trees really mask a lot of that. So the park has 90 standard campsites, 41 full hookup sites, two primitive sites, one marine trail site, three restrooms, two ADA, eight showers, two ADA, and one dump station. So here's the breakdown of the loops because there are three of them. In the main loop, you can reserve spots year round. It has 15 full hookup sites, 34 standard sites, and three primitive sites. Now the maximum length that you can park there is 60 feet. The beach loop, also you can reserve this one year round. It has 28 full hookup sites and 17 standard sites. The maximum length there, again, based on availability, 60 feet. Now you can only reserve this area between May and September. May 15th through September 15th to be exact. Here in the tree loop, there are 56 campsites, but you have to watch out because there are restrictions to vehicle lengths here in the tree loop. And if you have an RV, it can't be over 18 feet because that's the largest RV they allow in the tree loop. And if you have a travel trailer, remember there's just one car allowed at the campsite. So that's your tow car and your travel trailer and that's it. Now, another fun thing about this park is they have cabins here and you can rent them. Uh, I walked past them, they look pretty comfortable. They have air conditioning, so you don't have to worry about getting too hot when you're staying here. According to the website, each cabin can uh, hold about five people. So you could have a good old time out here if you wanted to just cabin it. One of the things I like to do when I come to a state park is make sure I get my hike on. Well, the car is all set up. It is a beautiful spot. I'm in 155, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Belfair State Park, so far so good. Now it's time to get our hike on.
here. So I haven't found an official hiking trail. This actually may be one. A um, little confusing uh, how to get to the hiking trails. Uh, but so far as I've just walked around the park, it is gorgeous. And so that's kind of cool. Um, this looks to be some kind of trail. So hopefully it will lead to a good hike. This looks a little familiar. That's because this is now down uh, near the day use site. Um, so I was able to walk all the way down. Uh, it looks like the trail uh, is just this road that goes around the park. You keep walking. I do think that there's an area that's a little more challenging hiking wise, I guess. Uh, but we'll see. Just enjoying the time out. Now the tide has come in from uh, earlier when I was out here, when I first got here. That was just around 1.30ish. Um, not sure what time it is right now. I guess it's closer to 3.30, maybe, maybe even four. Uh, and the water is almost um, right on the shoreline. <laughs> get there it's almost like you have your own private uh, campground um, again this is the day use park which is connected uh, to the state park and I think for hiking it really is just this uh, just this trail around the park which is nice um, but I'm gonna keep looking see if there's anything uh, more than this Now, there's something I never really thought about before is, yeah, you can bring your RV uh, to use it for the day and have a uh, place to get in and out of uh, the heat or the weather and cook and just hang out. Um, if I get an RV again, maybe I'll try that, but never really thought about it. I always use my RV to go to a park, stay, um, but never to just use uh, the day use camp, but not a bad idea. So looking at this map here, yeah, it looks like all there is is that uh, one trail on the outside of the park that, you know, loops around, it's not a bad trail. Um, you know, obviously I like to hike when I'm out here. Uh, so, you know, this was maybe a little bit of a shorter hike, but still uh, nice to be out. And, you know, again, the weather is absolutely fantastic. the hike ends for me right back at my site there is this little walkway and looks like it goes out to the water what do you say we go explore it
now this is the official end of my uh, hike. Uh, this is right back behind where uh, I am staying at Site 155. The water is here. It's beautiful. Wow, what a way to end a nice hike. All in all, this is a really beautiful park. On the day use side, uh, there are areas where kids can play on uh, like playground and there's a volleyball court. Uh, there's water out here, which you know I love water and mom, I found some for you. Uh, and you know, the campsites are again, tucked away in full growth trees. They're absolutely beautiful and I think you know, if you were going to come for a weekend, maybe even a week, you could really enjoy yourself here at Belfair State Park. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on my website at RVJedi.com. Get out there, explore new state parks just like this. Who knows? You might find a gem that you're going to want to come back to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.